Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you an awesome feature in Adobe Premiere Pro that can remix the length of any piece of music to be any duration automatically. It's called Remix, and you'll be no stranger to this if you use Adobe Audition, Adobe's audio editing software. Remix has been in for quite a while, but this is a brilliant feature if you're a video editor. And let me show you why. I've got a video that is one minute in duration here. It's a lot of drone footage, as you can see here, and it lasts exactly one minute. Now, I could go and search for a piece of music that lasts exactly one minute in duration, but that might take some time. Or I could find a really cool piece of music that I like that lasts three minutes and try to edit it. But now it can be done automatically, thanks to Adobe Sensei. That's the artificial intelligence that's working behind the scenes to cut your music automatically for you. So let me show you how it'll work. I'm going to go into the audio tab here in Adobe Premiere Pro and you'll see under the browse section I get access to Adobe's stock audio here. Now of course it doesn't just work on Adobe stock audio, you can drag any piece of music in and use this handy remix feature. Now of course if I want I can start playing some tunes and it's automatically going to show me how the music will look along with my drone footage so I can really pick the right thing. I've got chill time here, that's not quite right, let's go for zen. A mm, little bit too laid back, upbeat happy. Oh yeah, that'll do, that's perfect. Now, that's 1 minute 41, so uh, I would need to do some editing. So back in the old days, I would drag this in, wait for it to load in, and then I'd, I'd make probably the audio block bigger, and I'd go to my cut tool by hitting C, and I'd probably make a wonky cut here and a wonky cut here, and try and drag things so it gets to be 1 minute and... You know, if editing isn't the thing I like to do, I like to make videos, this is going to take me some time. But now I can just Control or Command Z, or Z it if you prefer, uh, undo everything. So it's my 1 minute 41 second track, either from Adobe Stock Audio or from my own collection, it doesn't matter. And then I'll go to this handy tool. Yes, it's kind of up there. It is the wonderful Ripple Edit Tool. Click and hold until you find Remix Tool in this menu. Select it. And now I can drag the ends of any music and it's going to automatically remix it. Watch this. Drag and then snap to one minute and within a matter of seconds, three, two, one, it's doing its clip analysis over here. And then magically, wow, it's made a ton of cuts here to my music to make it virtually exactly the right length for my video. And I could like place a fade out on that last drone clip. Let's have a look because where it's placed the zigzags in the audio, that's where it's made the edits. Let's listen. Do you know what? I didn't even hear the edit there. Absolutely no edit. So, well, no discernible edit. So it really is good stuff. It's made a few edits here at the end. And again, sounding absolutely fine, bringing the music to a close. And of course, just here, I could do like a nice fade out rather than a harsh uh, black ending there. But you get the idea. And of course, I can go the other way if I want this to be like, you know, three minutes or so, three minutes and 45 seconds. There we go. I've extended it. And you'll see it's done little edits in the same place. It's basically looped the same beat or the same bars over and over again. If I don't quite like that style, I think it's going to be a bit too repetitive for my lengthy video. You can actually go into the duration options here over in Essential Sound under Edit and you can customize. So, of course, here I can change the target duration. Say I want it to be 3 minutes and 33 seconds and 0 milliseconds. Boom, it'll do that edit for me and make it exactly that duration. But then I can go down to customize and so I can have more or fewer segments. So let's see what happens if I add more. Obviously, it should recalculate and give me more segments. In this case, it's decided not to. Or I can go fewer, and you see it's done fewer edits, so it's kept more variety in the music. But I'll go kind of middle of the road there. And then variations, I can choose what kind of variation I want. So again, by moving this around in general, it's going to recalculate. Not always. There we go. I just have to change these sliders, and I get a slightly different variation. So if I'm going for like you know, turning a one minute piece of music into a 10 minute piece, I might want to play with those customized options just to get my remixed music uh, to make sense and not be so repetitive. So it's an excellent feature. Uh, Adobe Audition Remix now available inside Adobe Premiere Pro for video editors. Just go to this. It is the Ripple Edit Tool usually in your toolbar. Hold, select and look for the Remix Tool. It works on any piece of music, any piece of audio uh, with a melody or a beat that can be picked up. Go and try it out on your videos. Save yourself a lot of editing time. Enjoy it and let me know how you get on with Remix in Adobe Premiere Pro in the comments down below. Thumbs up! Subscribe for more!
Music Radio Creative.com